this particular video is fairly similar to the previous one other than the numbers are just a little bit bigger. The difficulty you've got with this is that we've got quite a lot of negatives um, flying around so we need to be careful when we're actually simplifying this that we take into account the negatives. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write both these fractions under the same denominator. So I've got 4x minus 10 multiplied by 3x minus 10. Okay, and then the second fraction, I'm also going to have the same, which is 4x minus 10 multiplied by 3x minus 10. Okay, now the top um, I need to look at to say that if I've got a bottom denominator of these two terms multiplied together, then I need to make sure that whatever I've done to this denominator, in other words, I've multiplied it by 3x minus 10, I need to do to the top numerator. So I'm going to write that as 20 times 3x minus 10. Okay, with the second one, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. And one of the ways that I do this is I write some square brackets around this term. Now, the reason I've done that is because of this minus. I just want to make sure that it will remind myself that I'm dealing with this minus in here. In other words, it's going to be minus 8 because I've got here minus 8 times... 4x minus 10. So it's going to give me a little bit of a problem because I've got two minuses that I need to deal with here. Okay, so let's just work that through. Now, in the bottom, it's fairly straightforward and I can write that as one big fraction, 4x minus 10 multiplied by 3x minus 10. And then a big long line along the top there. Okay, so the first thing is I'm going to multiply out this numerator. So that's going to give me 20 times 3 is 60x minus 200. Okay, so they're giving us some big numbers to play around with today. Okay, then I've got minus 8 multiplied by 4 is going to be minus 32x. And then I'm going to have minus 8 times minus 10. So be very careful with this. Minus times and minus is a positive, so it's going to give me positive 80. Okay, and then really it's just a case of tidying everything up and making it look a little bit more presentable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the top and gather up the like terms. And I've got 60x minus 32x, well that's going to give me 28x. And then I've got minus 200 plus 80, well that's going to give me minus 120. And just on that point really is that if you've got a negative number and you're adding a positive number here, it's a bit like it's minus 200 degrees outside and then it gets 80 degrees warmer. So it moves up the thermometer. So it's going to be now minus 120. Not that I particularly want to be outside at minus 120, but you get the idea that really all you're doing is making it from minus 200 80 degrees warmer, so that's going to give you minus 120. Okay, now at the bottom here, I need to multiply out these bracketed terms. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll write this off to one side. I've got 28x minus 120 on the top. And on the bottom, I've got 4x times 3x. Well, that's going to be 12x squared. 4x times minus 10 is going to be minus 40x. Minus 10 times 3x is minus 30x, so it's going to get 30 degrees colder. And then I've also got minus 10 times minus 10 is plus 100. So if I gather up those like terms and just tidy that up a little bit, on the top I'm going to get 28x minus 120. And on the bottom I'm going to get 12x squared minus 40, minus 30 is minus 70x plus 100, and that's the answer to this particular question. I hope that's been okay for you. It is similar, as I say, to the previous video, but the numbers are just a little bit more difficult to deal with. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you and subscribe to the channel, have a look at the rest of the videos and the playlist, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.